Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We are from group 2 And our assignment title is Fire Detection and Alarm Systems in Residential Buildings Monitoring System Specification This is the block diagram for fire detection and alarm systems in residential buildings The system takes account Coordinated Universal Time UTC, Temperature, Humidity and Pressure Readings as the inputs the outputs are monitored on the things board dashboard where the value of temperature is shown in horizontal bar, humidity percentage is shown on vertical bar, meanwhile the pressure is shown on radial gauge. The dashboard also consists of entities table to display list of entities that match selected aliases and filter with ability of additional full text search and pagination. The alarm widget is also available to display alarms based on defined time window and related filters. This is the Jupyter Notebook source code for the fire detection and alarm system. In part 1, several libraries were imported which are NumPy as NP, Pandas as PD, Matplotlib.pilot as PLT, Request Volume Out, and Google Credentials. In part 2, in order to get the data from the smoke detection IoT CSV file to be displayed, the CSV file needed to be put in the Google Drive. By mounting the Google.collab to the Google Drive, the data can be accessed and displayed as shown in these two figures. In this figure, it appears that the UTC, temperature, humidity, pressure and fire alarm columns are the only data that will be used in this group assignment. Other columns were not necessary, therefore, these columns were dropped from the data frame. Lastly, to connect and send the desired data to the device in the things board, it needs to get the device credential first. Using default auto-generated credentials, which is access token, the desired data were successfully sent by request.post to the URL that link to the things board. Things boards, dashboards. This figure shows the overview of the fire detection and alarm system in residential buildings. This dashboard is created to offer a comprehensive view of the gathered data and enable user interaction. It consists of distinct sections, each serving a specific function. This figure represents a temperature display for this project. Besides, it also shows that the house is in good condition because the temperature in the house is 12 degrees Celsius. For information, the normal temperature in a house is between 20 and 22 degrees Celsius. During a typical house fire, the temperature of the floor will rise to a minimum of 100 degrees, frequently exceeding this threshold. Such temperatures are significantly uncomfortable and have the potential to cause burns if exposed for an extended period. This figure shows the air pressure in the house and this shows the humidity display percentage. This shows the coordinated universal time QTC displays and lastly, the, this is the alarms in things board. This figure shows the differences of monitoring system value when the temperature reaches 13 degrees Celsius where the humidity also rises a little. That's all from us. Thank you.